Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan and welcome back to another video on the channel. Jang Johan got unexpected help from Lee She Jang, but first, let me talk about the highly anticipated drama Joe of Life. Joe of Life is an upcoming historical suspense drama starring Jang Ryun, Lee Ching, Chen Daoming, and Xiao Zhan. Joe of Life premiered towards the end of 2019 and it instantly became one of the most popular dramas in China that won the hearts of many people both in China and around the world, me included. After the drama finished airing, there were news of a sequel. Actor Wu Gang, who plays Chin Ting Ting in the drama, was recently interviewed by mainline media and he said filming would start towards the end of this year or early next year 2022. He also said the drama will not only have a second season, but will also have a third season. Yep, you heard me right. We'll have two sequels of Joe of Life. What Wu Gang said attracted the attention of many netizens and they look forward to the two sequels. According to Wu Gang, the two sequels will be filmed together and each season is slated for 30 episodes. During the interview, Wu Gang asked the scriptwriter Wang Jun to finish the script quickly and made netizens excited. Netizens are also concerned whether the drama will use the same cast because season 1 ended in a cliffhanger in a shocking scene between Zhang Ruyun and Xiao Zhan's characters. The sequel was supposed to start filming at the end of 2019 and then was supposed to start filming at the end of 2020 which of course didn't go as planned. During the 2020 Tencent press conference, the screenwriter Wang Juan said the script wasn't finished yet and they were trying to coordinate the actors' schedules because they want the same cast to return for the second season. When Joe of Life Season 2 was announced last year, Zhang Ruyun, Song Yi, Go Ji Ling and Chen Yu were present. So at this point, we don't know how many people from the first season will return for the two sequels. On November 26th, Zhang Ruyun shared a clip on his web account celebrating the second anniversary of Joe of Life since its premiere and Song Yi also shared a photo celebrating the second anniversary of Job Life. I'll keep you guys updated on Job Life sequels as they provide them. After being cancelled for 3 months, Jiang Jahan was among the 88 people put on the blacklist by the China Association of Performing Arts for Bad Behaviors such as breaking the law or having negative impact on society. Chris Wu and Zhuang Shan were also on the list. The actors and influencers were banned from live streaming or making a comeback and this topic trended on Weibo. Li She Jiang, the director of the Golden Shield Television Center, who also produced the 2017 hit drama in the name of the people stepped out to raise awareness and questioned the blacklist published by the CAPA and he defended Jiang Johan. Li She Jiang has been in the film and TV industry for a long time and it can be said he knows all the ins and outs. Li She Jiang said he would help Jiang Johan file a lawsuit against the association and he also said and I quote, I firmly support improving the industry and ensuring sanctions are meted out effectively. What is important however is that there should be a legitimate procedure being followed. I'll play a short clip of the part where he talked about Zhang Jahan.他现在呢连还报了报连现在在南方公安报警了他都百度百科都给他修改恶意修改串串多说是他日本人日本仔说他妈妈是个日本女人人家妈妈是个六六十岁的老党员就有家里人全是党员那有的人又为了都有的牺
，诬陷人家的人。你这样，你良心可在？ Li Shijiang said his post was to raise awareness to ensure the association follows the procedure and one system of lawyers to help Zhang Johan file a lawsuit against the association. If the court has evidence that Zhang Johan violated the laws, then they can convict him. If, however, the court cannot convict him, the association must apologize to him, restore his reputation, and shoulder the financial losses. It's rare to see someone in the Chinese entertainment industry supporting someone. Because they fear getting cancelled themselves, so hope everything goes well for Jiang Johan and he gets the justice he deserves. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. I'll keep you guys updated on Jiang Johan as I provide them. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on screen right now. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.